Everyone knows Watson and Crick for discovering the DNA double helix, but few know the woman whose work made that discovery possible and who never got the credit she deserved. Welcome to Matter Mosaic, piecing together the universe, one discovery at a time. Today, we uncover the story of Rosalind Franklin, the hidden architect of DNA. In the early 1950s, Rosalind Franklin was a brilliant X-ray crystallographer at King's College London. She wasn't just taking pictures, she was mapping the invisible. Her photograph, Photo 51, captured the X-shaped shadow that revealed DNA's helical structure. Every pixel of that image was the fingerprint of life itself. But while Franklin's data was groundbreaking, it was also secretly shared, without her permission, with Watson and Crick, who used it to confirm their own model of DNA. Their 1953 paper changed biology forever. Hers was cited alongside theirs, but the world only remembered two names. Franklin herself never complained publicly. She kept working, turning her attention to viruses and advancing structural biology even further. Colleagues described her as sharp, disciplined, and deeply devoted to truth, but her career was cut short. She died of ovarian cancer in 1958, at just 37, four years before the Nobel Prize was awarded to Watson, Crick, and Wilkins. By Nobel rules, the prize isn't given posthumously, but many believe Franklin's name should have been there. Today, her story stands as more than a scientific footnote. It's a reminder that science, like DNA itself, is built on the work of many strands, and every strand matters. Rosalind Franklin didn't just photograph the structure of life. She illuminated what it means to seek truth, even without recognition. This is Matter Mosaic, piecing together the universe one discovery at a time. If this story inspired you, leave a like, share it, and subscribe for more hidden stories of science and the people who shaped it.